Oh, boy, I am stressed right now. My heart is pounding, I'm shaking, I just, I can't think clearly up here. Oh my God, this is, this is bad for me, but imagine I had a high stakes job, like a first responder or an airline pilot. They need to be able to function and make decisions under stress. In my research, I'm looking at how stress affects our ability to think clearly and whether there are strategies we can use to overcome this impact. In my studies, I put participants in stressful situations. In some experiments, I use virtual reality to hang people off skyscrapers, and this is what that looked like. In other experiments, I asked participants to put their hands in freezing cold water and perform complex mental arithmetic, all whilst being video recorded. This is a very effective lab-based stressor. The participants then do tasks that tap different aspects of cognitive ability. For example, right now I'm trying to remember what to say, stop myself from shaking, and switch between talking to you and monitoring my time. These are all different aspects of cognitive control, which I measure in the lab using various tasks. Cognitive control depends on a part of the brain called the prefrontal cortex. It turns out that one of the hormones released during stress, cortisol, strongly interferes with how our prefrontal cortex functions. Now, cortisol is not only found in our brain, but also in our saliva, so I measure this from my participants. In doing this, I can examine directly how these stress hormones affect cognitive control. Of course, I know that some people are going to be better able to cope with these stressful situations than others. This is what my studies show, and this is precisely the point. What exactly are the differences between those who perform well and those whose performance suffers under stress? What strategies do these people use? What strategies would you use if you're in my shoes right now? This is what my research is looking at. One common strategy is to distract yourself. Maybe I can pretend that you're all not here or that I don't care what you think. Or I could try and hide my emotions in the hopes of convincing you that I am cool and confident. Research indicates that some of these strategies might be better suited to specific people or situations compared to others. And this is really important because if we can understand the strategies that are used by those who show resilience and good cognitive control under stress, then we can use these strategies and apply them to other people. For example, my research might guide which specific strategies first responders should use to function and make decisions under stress. And for my own sake, if I can find the best strategy for public speaking, then perhaps next time you see me on stage, I won't be so stressed.